Well, howdy, and welcome to San Antonio, Texas. Hey fellow travelers, welcome back to Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Benjamin O, and today we are here in the great city of San Antonio, Texas. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the downtown Riverwalk District, and of course, the Alamo Center, which is where we are gonna start at. So let's go and learn about a little bit of history, and then hit the Riverwalk. Okay, so behind me here is the Alamo. Technically, the Alamo is not just this church, but the grounds and an entire six acres of what used to be the old fort. Uh, it has now basically been reduced to just the gardens and of course the old church. The old church being having built in 1716 under the Spanish. Uh, of course, changed hands into the Mexican uh, state for a while. And then when it, the Republic of Texas was formed in 1836, it changed over to Texas. Now, of course, this is where the famous battle of the Alamo happened back in late February through uh, March 6th, which was the final assault of 1836 by General Santa Ana of the uh, Mexican army. So we're going to go inside, check it out. If you want to go in, it used to actually be where you could just walk in and I think you needed admission into the church, but now they've kind of made this whole, uh, there's actually an expansion going on here at the Alamo, which I'll show you guys more of it uh, later. They've got a new uh, visitor center that they're building right now. Um, you do have to get a ticket. It is free to go into the grounds and the church admin admission. Um, and then there's like different levels of guided tours, self audio tours that cost anywhere from like 10 to like 40 by five bucks per person. So uh, there'll be a lot of info. I'll leave links in the description for all of that. But let's go inside and check out the Alamo, shall we? So this is the church, and pretty much it's the bare bones of the structure nowadays, but it is still a fantastic place to come in, check out. There's a lot of history. Like I said, it was built in 1716, and it does have a, a, a model where you can check out basically what it looks like uh, during the time of the battle. Figuring out the fact that the church where you're at was actually near the back, and then all the front grounds where now there's hotels and everything, uh, that used to just be open uh, training grounds. And then of course they have great plaques here for all of the heroes of the Alamo, including the commanders themselves, William Barrett Travis, James Bowie, and everybody's favorite frontiersman, Davy Crockett. So like I said earlier, coming into the Alamo itself on the grounds is free. It is also free to get admission into the church. You do, however, have to get a ticket. You just go up to the uh, the kiosk counter or when they have the Welcome Center open, go up to the Welcome Center and just get that free ticket. Just ask for the ticket. They'll give it to you for free. Uh, I think sometimes it's just to kind of keep the amount of people in the church to whatever the capacity is. However, honestly, when you are doing the Alamo, my favorite part is the grounds. So you can just walk in at any point in time while it's open, I think from 9 a.m. to like 5.30 p.m., like Monday through Friday. And it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous grounds the way they set it up. And fascinatingly enough, it's really not historically accurate in that particular sense because you have to think the mission back then was more of kind of like a horse cattle ranch uh there would have been more of kind of like particularly during this uh, near the time of the siege and the Revolu texas revolution there would have been more of a like a wartime setup here instead of the grounds that you have so not historically accurate but as a nature lover myself i love the way that they set up the grounds are absolutely beautiful and like i said it's free to walk in and check out the grounds themselves so one thing to think about when you're thinking about doing the alamo as an experience is kind of what you want out of it so like i said earlier the different types of guided tours that you could have of course the audio tour just gives you sort of like a little sort of like audio guide and you just go to certain places and you, you know, hit the number and it gives you some of that info like pre-recorded info of course the guided tour is going to be the most fun you know 
you, there, you're gonna get some laughs, some humor, and then of course a lot of great insight uh, personally from someone. And then of course they also do have, if you're just trying to do like the whole kind of like, you know, budget free thing, is when you come in, there are along the grounds, there are uh, info uh, boards along that give you pretty much what you really want to know if you're just looking specifically for the history, as well as there is a couple places that do have like educational videos about what happened here uh, for the documentaries that have been made for the Alamo. So there, it kind of all depends on which, you, which way you want to go, but either way you'll find a lot of history whichever path you choose uh, when you're if you want to really dig into the Alamo so all right well uh, let's go check out the square outside shall we So while you're in the Alamo Square, one place you do want to check out is the Cenotaph Monument here. This is the Alamo Cenotaph Monument, and it is a beautiful monument. The artwork is fantastic, and it has, of course, all the names inscribed all around the monument dedicated to the soldiers that fought at the Alamo. So one of the newest additions to the whole Alamo experience that they are creating that should be crea uh, completed in 2024 is, oddly enough, one of the, like, it's a reconstruction of one of the oldest parts of what used to be the Mission San, San Antonio de Valero, which is what the mission was before it was turned into the Alamo uh, by, I think it was like a Mexican Corps uh, or a Spanish Corps that took it over and turned it into a military outpost. But it used to be a mission. Uh, and this right here behind me is a reconstruction of the old mission gate that was erected in 1760. So a lot of cool stuff that they're actually doing here. A lot of this wasn't here when I was here even like two years ago. And definitely not like when I was here 10 years ago or when, 20 years ago when I was a kid. But it is fascinating, like the, the emergence of this whole section with the Alamo and the history and wanting to kind of not just preserve what's already he what's left, but reconstruct some of what used to be. Because it's absolutely amazing. Because you have to think, uh, the, the mission itself was on the backside. The, the old church, what, what we know as the Alamo building, what is iconic, was on the backside of the entire property. Everything that you see here in front of me, including like a street beyond to like where that, uh, that building, that's a Hyatt Regency, that was basically all part of the old walls that ran all the way down for six acres across. So that used to be like the whole old barracks and fort. But yeah, really, really, really cool. Now that we're done with the Alamo, I'm back here at our hotel waiting for mom to come down and join me for the Riverwalk part of this video. I do highly recommend though, if you are looking for a place to stay specifically right connected to the Riverwalk, definitely try and think of coming to the San Antonio Marriott Riverwalk. The Marriott is really nice. We've been here a couple different times. Mom's been here several times, but it's really, it's one of the nicer regular Marriott's without going into like, you know, they're kind of like resorts places. It's got a great bar, good looking restaurant. Uh, if you have gold member status or higher, such as my mom does, uh, you get access to the 26th floor uh, premium club, which is really cool. That VIP club gives you great views of the city, particularly around sunset time. Uh, they have a happy hour up there. And it's, you know, where they have like little bits of snacks, bites. Of course, you can have some wine, some beer. You do have to pay for the wine. Um, you can charge it to your room. But, you know, it is it is what it is. But it's still, it's a really, really nice spot. And of course, that's also where you go to uh, for your breakfast, if you're premium as well. And so the breakfast was absolutely fantastic. For a hotel breakfast, eggs, bacon, all the fruit, it was really nice. So yeah, definitely highly recommend if you're coming to stay. And it has direct access into the river, uh, the, the shops at the Riverwalk, and of course, to the Riverwalk itself. So check out the Marriott Riverwalk. And speaking of the shops at the Riverwalk, definitely highly recommend coming down here if you're looking to do some shopping. Particularly if you're staying at that Marriott, you walk right at the door and it's right here. Really kind of cool, kind of circumvents like the entire uh, uh, main part of the Riverwalk district. It's just kind of inside, air conditioned, has a lot of brand name shops, has places to eat, has a lot of fun interactive things for the kids as well, like this fun skywalk and a few different kind of like VR and even like sort of like bungee jump stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's as much of a shopping district as it is an entertainment center as well. So yeah, when you're down here, definitely check out the shops here at the Riverwalk. Walk. 
So of course, one of the biggest attractions here on the Riverwalk in San Antonio is to take one of the guided river cruises. And these are the Go Rio uh, River Cruises. So what you do is you come down here to the main part of the river center and you go to the Go Rio Beverage Bar. You're gonna go in there, you can grab drinks, I believe you can take them onto the boat, and then you grab your tickets in there uh, at the counter as well. I believe it is about $14.50 for a general admission. If you are uh, retired or active military, it is a $3 uh, discount there at about $11.50. I think you can also get a combination ticket as well to enter in the Tower of Americas if you're going to be doing that on your tour here. And I think that's like 31 bucks for the whole package for general admission. So, but anyway, let's get on the boat, shall we? You'll be all right, probably. Last boat had 30 people on it, 28 made it back. That's good, that's good. Now I will say every time that I go on these boat rides, it's a lot of fun because it's a slightly, you know, the 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 river walk is like slowly evolving. Uh, they've got some new like statue artwork that they've installed since the last uh, time which I went on a boat ride, which gosh that was probably like six seven years ago or something like that even longer than that because i w they didn't have the boat rides going on when the pandemic was going on when i was here last time but it is a fantastic boat ride you usually get a nice uh, great fun humorous commentary by the by the captain of that particular boat which is why i wasn't able to do uh too much of kind of like uh, commentary myself because we had a great commentary going anyway but yeah it kind of gives you the full stint of the main part of the river walk you get a lot of great history uh, the fact that it was built in the 1920s because this area of downtown San Antonio used to have a lot of floods and in the 1920s there was a flood that killed about 50 people because the water rose nine feet above uh, street level which is insane so they built the river walk to kind of ease some of the pressure off of that they do have floodgates to protect this part of san antonio river walk and the downtown this part of the downtown district when a flood does happen plus they built a dam i think just north of here as well that helps regulate a lot of that too so it's kind of a you know a nice nice uh, mixture of architecture that has now made this into a popular tourist attraction because this wasn't a popular tourist attraction until probably about the 40s or 50s is when it really started to garner uh you know uh, theaters and restaurants started popping up and all that kind of stuff and of course along the way you'll you'll also be able to see that there are a lot of places that get used in movies like scenes of movies like uh selena and then of course you also do have uh miss congeniality uh that bikini contest at the uh, at the arson theater so there's a lot of a lot of fun stuff when it comes to the boat ride so highly do recommend taking a boat ride when you can So when you are done with the boat ride, definitely take some time to do a nice walk along the San Antonio Riverwalk. It's about 15 miles in total. However, it's only about five miles, which is the downtown district. So definitely if you need to get a little exercise, get some walking done, this is a great spot. And of course, as you go along the riverside, uh, you do have a lot of different stalls that'll pop up, particularly around the underbridge parts uh, that have a lot of different crafts, um, some you know souvenirs. There might be a little bit of food here and there, but mainly it is the souvenir shops. Uh, we're gonna go grab some lunch at one of the restaurants here, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely come and just kind of enjoy the river walk. It is a nice spot, and you can drink on the Riverwalk. You can't smoke, you can drink. But if you want to smoke, you have to go up to the upper streets where you can't drink. It's an interesting dichotomy there. So, but yeah, definitely take your time and enjoy the Riverwalk.
So you're looking for a spot to eat around the Riverwalk. There's a lot of different choices. A lot of them are a mixture of chain and then some local spots as well. Some of them are in historical buildings, which is really cool. I highly recommend if you're looking for maybe some Mexican stuff, Along the Riverwalk, it may seem somewhat touristy, but it's been around since 1946, and that is Casa Rio. It's actually one of my mom's favorite places who uh, has joined me for lunch today. Hello. <laughs> so uh, we are getting ourselves a margarita. I'm getting my margarita. Mom, what are you getting? The mango. Nada. So she got a frozen frosty little drink, so cheers to that, guys. Yeah. Mm. Delicious margarita. Let me try mom's real quick. Yeah, look at what that looks like right there. Nice and frosty. Ooh, that's got a nice flavor. And a little bit of, I don't know what the spice in there, but that's really, really nice. But yeah, Casa Rio is a nice spot. We're waiting for the food, but it's like right along the river. And if you're able and lucky to get a river seat, as you can see, it's kind of all well worth it. You can just watch the boats go by. People watch as, as, uh, as you're waiting for your food. Fantastic spot. Okay, so the food is here, and I basically got what is called the regular plate. It's been around since the foundation of the restaurant. Probably one of the most popular and most ordered dishes here. And it's actually not too bad, even in this day and age. It's about, I think it's like $13, $14 for the plate. And you get a little bit of chili con carne, you get, uh, you get a cheese enchilada, you get a tamale, and of course some rice and beans. So it's kind of like a, a nice trio Mexican dish that you get there. So we'll try first a little bit of the cheese enchilada there. Mm. The red sauce on that is fantastic. Get a little bit of uh, chili con carne there. Just a piece of that uh, carne, a little beef there. Very good. Easy delicious. And then of course we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of beans rice and of course the tamale as well. Mmm. Simple, easy, traditional kind of Tex-Mex, but absolutely fantastic. So the next spot on this tour of the Riverwalk is on the South Bank, and this is the La Villeta Historic Neighborhood. So this is basically about a few blocks that have kind of like the, still the old historic buildings. You know, they have now shops with them um, or offices, but the buildings themselves are still there, and it's a cute little spot to come see. The gate is located at the Arneson uh, Theater, so you just kind of walk off the uh, Riverwalk, walk up the Arneson Theater through, uh, through the kind of like little, you know, arch, and then you come into this historic bil uh, village. And what's really kind of cool about this neighborhood is the fact that it has about like three different styles of buildings. You have adobe buildings, which are some of the earlier buildings in Texas. Then you have some of the, the Texas like more limestone. And then you have, of course, some Victorian style buildings as well. It kind of showcases, you know, the change of history over time. You know, after uh, a lot of the adobe buildings got flooded out during one of the big floods, they built it up with more of the limestone and that worked for a while and then of course uh, the big german population started coming into central texas and they started building up more kind of like victorian style houses so you got a mixture of throughout the 19th century from early to late 19th century kind of all showcased here 
in this historical uh, neighborhood of the San Antonio uh, Riverwalk. It's actually really, really kind of cool. And, you know, it's got some local fun shops to, you know, check out and all that. But uh, definitely make it worth it to just come here, check it out, you know, spend about, a few, uh, about half an hour or something like that, maybe do some shopping, and then uh, continue on. So as you're heading west through the Riverwalk, as you're heading towards the main cathedral here in San Antonio, you're gonna come across the Callison Love Lock Bridge. And basically, this is a bridge uh, similar to ones like in Paris, London, uh, Ver I think Verona might have one. There's, they're all over the world. You'll find these bridges that people will come there uh, and they've got barbed fences on them where you can come and put a lock on here, inscribe your initials, and supposedly your love is supposed to never die with that. So, But it is kind of cool to see just like how many number one different styles of locks there are uh, in the world there's some i'm just like very impressed they're like kind of like old school locks and I'm like who even has the key for that anymore but yeah if you want to come and uh, try that out with uh with your love come on here to the callison Lo love lock bridge all right so the cathedral behind me is the san fernando cathedral and that is the main cathedral here in downtown san antonio it's actually built in 1731 uh, by about 16 local families from the canary islands at the invitation of king philip of spain so it's uh, it goes back quite a long ways it's got a nice history to it unfortunately i'm here on a day apparently it seems they're closed usually they're open till about five o'clock i got here a little after four might be closed maybe because of the holiday for Memorial Day which is the day that I'm filming this on which is understandable but even still coming here to get a picture of the cathedral absolutely fantastic and right next door across the street is of course the old Bexar County uh, Courthouse and that was uh, built I believe in 1891 it's kind of in a Romanesque revival style but it's a that's actually I think the cooler of the two looking buildings because it's got this beautiful red uh, brick and it's just absolutely fantastic so yeah when you're on the west side of the river walk make sure that you stop in and see both of those even if it's just to get a pick if they're closed and of course the courthouse is actually a live courthouse so there's not really too much interesting i believe in there maybe it's like a small museum about it but that's about it but yeah i also really like this west side of the downtown district because it's away from the main shops and a lot of the restaurants so as you can see in this plaza it's very quiet. So if you need a break from people, it's a nice spot. just barely made that oh my god like I just barely made it back to the hotel uh, we were gonna rest up for a quick recharge and then head to the Tower of Americas before this uh, storm just hit out of nowhere this was not forecasted earlier today holy crap flash photo warning in effect right now for like three hours so uh, we're just gonna hang out here I'm back up in the uh, uh, in the executive lounge here at the Marriott uh, getting a little little cheese and crackers just something to eat real quick and then uh, hopefully the storm should clear enough later tonight I'll go down and show you guys at least a little bit of the river walk at night what it really looks like when it's lit up it's really kind of cool uh, I don't know if people will return by that point in time because you know flash flood warning like I said most people are probably gonna hang out but we'll see if we can check it out otherwise yeah that was that was a close call Okay guys, so the rain has stopped and night has fallen. So let's go take a quick walk around the uh, river walk one more time to see the lights of the river walk. Let's go. guys there is definitely something special about the San Antonio Riverwalk as touristy as it is 
times like this, you know, particularly if you're here on a holiday Monday, there's not a whole lot of people, maybe it just rained, you get lucky and you have this time where it's like everything's lit up and there's not a lot of people here. You get to enjoy yourself. Yes, during the daytime, it can get a little bit busy, but even then, there's such a unique charm to it. You know, it's almost like a mini, mini canal Venice uh, here in the heart of Texas. And it's just, I do enjoy San Antonio. I love San Antonio. I mean, just the history itself, there's more historical buildings here in San Antonio than in any other city in Texas uh, combined. And it's just, they know, they love their history. They love everything that they do here. And the Riverwalk is, it's the Riverwalk. It is what it is and it's popular for a reason, so. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of this particular video. I hope you enjoyed all of that. San Antonio has always been one of my favorite places to come to. And if you've ever been to San Antonio, the Riverwalk, let me know in the comments all of your uh, experiences here. I would really love to know them. Places you've gone that I didn't go to in this video. I mean, there's so many places you could stay here for weeks and go into all the different restaurants, the bars, the shops. And that's just the Riverwalk. That's not ex including the rest of San Antonio, which is a massive, massive city. It's the third largest city behind behind Houston and Dallas here in the state of Texas. So anyway, guys, I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, peace out and have a great night.